so in this video now we will going to find learn one more uh, sql interview questions where we need to find that maximum value out of that multiple columns okay so right now till now we try to find that using max to find that any one of that column but now in this time we have multiple column then how we can find that maximum value out of those so to do this now first thing i will go ahead and try to create one new table so create i am creating one temporary table where i am using that one category and year 1 2 3 4 so suppose that one of that category and we have different year of sale we will try to understand how it's going to work so first one table created so now if we go ahead and try to see that value in this table So now, right now, we don't have any values in this one. Now we'll go ahead and try to insert few rows in this. Execute this one. So now two rows got inserted. I will go ahead and remove this. Now if we execute, we can see that two rows are there. So I will take this one down. So now in this table, we have now two rows, one category with the car, another one with the bike, and we have different columns. So now we need to find that in car, what is that maximum sale? Okay, so year one, two, three, four, which year we have that maximum, what is that maximum sale out of this? If you look for the car, we have four, 400, and if you go for the bike, then we have nine. So we'll try to find it out this one. So what we can do, we can go ahead. I will press that. So first I will execute and then I will explain how it's going to work. So now we can see that we are getting for car 400 for bike 900. So before going to there, I can go ahead and insert in car or we can insert one more i can put that car one and i can put here thousand okay and then i will go ahead and try to execute this one so now if you go ahead and execute we have okay my bad i need to remove this and then need to insert Okay, so one dog got inserted here. Now if we go ahead and execute this statement, now we can see that for car one, we are getting that thousand. So irrespective of that columns, we are getting that value is here. So now we need to try to understand that how it's going to work. So first thing, what we try to do here, is using that again, table values here to select it out maximum value. So we're doing that select max, my well whatever column name i provided it here and i am using it here as alias as table name as time and from where we need to select so we know that this how max of this going to work so it's going to give that maximum so now i am selecting it here values so value selection what i'm doing in place of after from i'm creating one table values function so in this one i'm passing values and i'm passing that here all those year name so right now i have not passed year four so we can go ahead and pass it year four as well year four so now it will take care of this as well so right now i was searching for only for three not for the four so now if i go ahead and try to find it so this will give us value in this one and then from here i am trying to finding that maximum value for this corresponding category and that's all it's returning it back to us so we can see that now if i go ahead and remove year one from our statement 
and if I can execute it, now we can see that for car and bike, still we are getting the same output because it's from year three. But for car one, since it was year one, we have not included in our table values here. So now we are getting 400 and 400 come from year three. So in this way, if we can go ahead and remove on the year three, then we will get that output out of except three, one, two, and four. So if we can see first one, four, 300 is maximum. If we go to second bike, 700 is maximum. If we go to car one, so 1000 is maximum. So it's going to display in this one, in this way. So I hope you understand this video.